Hi, my name's Mike G. Welcome to the workshop. Today we're actually out in the wood shop, um, and I wanted to uh, introduce you to our barn wood project. Uh, this came about uh, when I um, uh, met uh, a local uh, uh, businessman who uh, reclaims old barn wood uh, from back east, and uh, it turned out he's a guitar player as well, and uh, this project kind of grew out of that relationship. What we've done, um, and we're going to do two different types of uh, barnwood guitars. Um, we're going to take actual um, flooring um, from various barns, um, hemlock, pine, and whatnot. Um, and that, that material actually starts out as uh, two inches thick by, um, you know, at least 14 inches wide. Um, our goal with all, most of our projects is going to be to have those... Uh, um, be one piece bodies. Um, occasionally um, in the larger sizes we may have to do something different. Plus we're also um, thinking about um, using some of this 100, 150 year old wood um, um, as the base for some arch tops and so on. But um, what I want to talk to you about today are the uh, tellies that we're doing. Um, as you can see here uh, we've got uh, the first run of these. We're doing them in uh, um, the standard telly. We're doing them old school style. I want to show you this. Um, no duplicator, no CNC machine. We are uh, using actual templates and routers. Um, that's some hardware. I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> Compressor. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see here, um, we did one with um, a P90 in the neck. Uh, this one has uh, a humbucker in the neck. Um, and then this one's going to be an Esquire. Um, I've got a mock-up here. Um, of a traditional setup and of course uh, black pickguard uh, modern six saddle bridge um, <coughs> we rough cut this one it isn't finished yet but what you can see here is we have uh, an inch and a half inch thick um, piece of of ash and then when it's about a three eighths inch thick um, cap of of a barn siding um, and this is um, from a barn um, in Pennsylvania it is approximately a hundred years old if not more. Uh, once that gets sanded what we're going to do is we're going to do a slight radius here on the edge, um, stain the cap um, and on a couple of them we're going to paint um, the ash. Um, some of them we're going to stain. <coughs> Come over here and I'll show you another one we've got going on. This one here has some really awesome um, characteristics in the wood. You can see the oranges and a little bit of blue, gray, and black, and so on. Um, but we'll come over here. Um, let me show you the hardware. Uh, what we did was we overcooked. Boy, it's kind of hard to see. Here we go. We overcooked um, the parts that aren't necessarily important for function. So your saddles and your tuners, um, they're going to get aged um, a little bit differently. They're just going to kind of get uh, the shine knocked off of them. That you, you overcook them too much in the process and then they don't function very well. These parts aren't important uh, for tuning and so on. So the control plates, um, the bridge plates, um, the output jacks and so on. Um, we overcooked these, even, even the neck plates you can see right there. Um, this is the uh, second uh, stage of uh, the process. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean these up. So some of that green is going to disappear. Uh, but we'll clean these up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to do uh, um, about six or seven coats of clear over. So it'll, it'll seal it in. And also the, the rust won't rub off on you while you're playing. 